to the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcus Jr. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the groundbreaking ceremony of the Samal Island Davao City Connector Project, being led by His Excellency President Ferdinand R. Marcus Jr., assisted by Vice President Sarah Z. Duterte, DPWH Secretary Manuel Bonoan, Special Assistant to the President Secretary Antonio Lagdameo Jr., Davao City Mayor Sebastian Z. Duterte, and Island Garden City of Samal Mayor Al David T. Uy. You are now witnessing the turning over of uh, the newspaper, the blueprint, which will be placed inside our time capsule. Now the coins are being turned over as well. We're now sealing and closing the time capsule. About to witness the lowering of our time capsule. We are now witnessing the lowering of the time capsule. Let's give it a big round of applause, everybody. And now we turn over the shovels to the President of the Republic of the Philippines, along with the Vice President and the rest of the party. They are now to cover up the capsule. Let's give it a big round of applause, everyone. The rest of the party gets their chance to the ceremonial covering of our time capsule. Everybody, let's give it a big round of applause one more time. We may now request uh, the president and the party to kindly remove their hard hats and their shovels. Please return them. Thank you very much, Mr. President. At this point, Mr. President, may we also present to you a diorama of the SIDC Bridge. This is the diorama for the Samal Island Davao City Connector Project, a 3.98 kilometer bridge crossing the Pakiputan Strait that will connect the island garden city of Samal and Davao City. The bridge shall reduce the travel time from 50 minutes to just four and a half minutes from Davao City to Samal Island.
How about we join our hands together, everybody? Thank you, Mr. President. May we invite the President on stage for the program. We may now all be seated. At this juncture, may we call on the DPWH Secretary Manuel Bonoan to give us his welcome message and a background of Samal Island Davao City Connector Project. His Excellency President uh, Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr., sir. Honorable Vice President Sara Duterte. Your uh, Excellency Ambassador Huang Lian of the Embassy of the uh, People's Republic of China. My esteemed colleagues in the uh, cabinet, uh, Secretary Faustino of the uh, Department of National Defense, Secretary Erwin Tolfo of uh, DSWD. Secretary uh, Larita Carlos, uh, National Security Advisor, Assistant Secretary to the President, Secretary Antonio Lagdemir, Jr. Distinguished members of the House of Representatives present here today, Davao del Norte, Governor Edwin Obahid, and Sangunian Pandaliwigan members, of course, Davao City Mayor, Sebastian Duterte, and uh, City Council, Island uh, Garden City of Samal Mayor uh, Al David uh, T. Oy and uh, members of the Council, my colleagues in the Department of uh, the Department of Public Works and Highways, other guests, fellow public servants, ladies and gentlemen. Before anything else, please allow me to express my sincerest thanks to all of you for taking time out from your busy schedules to join us. Uh, in this historic groundbreaking ceremony for the proposed Samal Island Davao City Connector Project. Today, we are deeply honored to be in the presence of no less than the President himself as we mark another important breakthrough in the country's infrastructure landscape. The Samal Island Davao City Bridge Connector Project is a significant project envisioned to support the growth potential of the Davao region as it connects the beautiful island garden city of Samal and the highly urbanized Metro Cebu. After many years in the DPWH pipeline of proposed projects, the long wait is finally over and this important bridge project has come to its realization. It might be worth mentioning that the DPWH had to face many challenges preparing for the project and it could not have been made possible without the support, assistance, and collaboration of the local government units concerned, the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, and other government agencies in the process. Today, the, pro the project groundbreaking ceremony officially marks the commence of the project implementation through a design and build scheme under the administration of President Ferdinand Marcos, Jr. As a backgrounder, the project identification and preparation started as early as 2018. This was followed by a selection workshop to identify among the five shortlisted options to determine which and where the bridge project is deemed to be best located. Public consultations and key informant interviews were also carried out between May 2019 to January 2020, 
including discussions of concerns over the potential impact of projects of the project uh, to properties and businesses affected. Finally, the selected alignment of the proposed bridge structure as, as it crosses the Pakipotan Strait along the southern corridor, which have been exhaustively studied, turned out to be the most beneficial in terms of technical, financial, economic, and environmental and social impacts. The bridge project is designed to be a four-lane cable-stayed extra-dos iconic bridge with a total length of 3.98 kilometers, including approaches, with a vertical navigational clearance up to 47 meters, supported by two pylons with a height of 73 meters. On the environmental aspects, two public hearings as part of the environmental impact study review process were implemented with the participation of Salmon Island stakeholders and Davao area stakeholders on September 28, 2020, for purposes of exchanging information and views about the project and to promote dialogue between the Department of Public Works and Highways, DNR, and the general public. The Samal Island Protected Landscape and Seascape Protected Area Management Board likewise issued Resolution Number 4, giving clearance or expression of support for this project being outside the Samal Island Protected Landscape and Seascape. In December 2020, an environmental clearance certificate was obtained from the Department of Environment and Natural Resources Environmental Management Bureau based on a comprehensive study which highlights that the proposed bridge alignment has the least impact on coral reefs. Adverse effects to marine and marine life and the environment will be prevented by utilizing state-of-the-art modern technology in the construction of deep foundation for sea crossing bridges. The project alignment will not also affect the mountainous terrain in the island garden city of Samal. A memorandum of agreement is also being proposed for the creation of a multi-partite monitoring team to ensure compliance of construction procedures vis-a-vis -vis compliance to environmental conditional conditionalities during and after construction. The Samal Island Davao City Connector Bridge Project is one of the key government-to-government -government cooperation projects between the Philippines and the People's Republic of China through a concessional loan agreement. On June 22, in line with the loan procedures and arrangements, the Department of Public Works and Highways in China Road and Bridge Corporation entered into a design and build contract to head start the implementation of the bridge project, which officially started in September 2022. In five years, in five years' time, when the bridge is finally complete, I am optimistic that it will be able to serve its full purpose of improving the lives of the Bahuenos. Mr. President, you can be rest assured that the Department of Public Works and Highways will continue
half minutes. The bridge project will improve economic activities and promote more sources of livelihood for locals who have long dreamed of having such a bridge that enhances internal mobility and external linkage to support the economic and tourist growth potential of the region. DPWH now undertakes the conduct of land survey and geotechnical investigation with the government finally proceeding with the detailed engineering design activities for the civil works construction of the long-awaited Samal Island Davao City Connector project. Let's give it a big round of applause. At this point, may we invite the Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of the People's Republic of China to the Philippines, His Excellency Huang Xilian, to give his message. His Excellency President Ferdinand uh, Bombo Marcos, His Excellency Indai Vice President Indai Sara. Uh, Honorable Secretary Manuam Bonoan, Honorable Mayor Sebastian Duterte, Honorable Secretaries, uh, Representative of House, Senior Officials, Ladies and Gentlemen, good morning to all of you. It's my great pleasure to join the groundbreaking ceremony of the Samal Island Davao City Connector Project. Please allow me to extend my warmest congratulations on the commencement of this flagship project and my sincere appreciation towards uh, President Marcos and Vice President Sara for gracing this event. Uh, I would like to also thank the DPWH for the thoughtful arrangement and the efficient work. The people of Davao have been uh, dreaming of this bridge since a long time ago, thanks to the care and support of leaders from both countries. Uh, the construction of this flagship project is initiated today. It reflects China's firm commitment to support the Build Better More program of the Philippine government and marks a significant milestone in our bilateral cooperation. According to the framework agreement between the two governments, China will provide a concessional loan of 350 million US dollars for the construction of the bridge with the aim to facilitate the local residents travel to promote the development of the Samar Island and enhance the sustainable development of Davao City and surrounding regions. Last week, the 20th National Congress of the Communist Party of China was successfully held in Beijing, drawing a blueprint for China's future development. From this day forward, the central task of the Communist Party of China will be to lead the Chinese people to realize the second centenary goal of building China into a great modern socialist country in all respects and to advance the rejuvenation of the Chinese nation on all fronts through Chinese modernization. The vital process of Chinese modernization will definitely have a profound impact on the world and benefit the mankind. China and the Philippines are close neighbors who enjoy complementary development advantages and broad prospects for cooperation. In China's journey towards China's modernization, we are willing to work hand in hand with the Philippines for mutual benefits and common development. And I believe this will definitely 
facilitate the Philippines' economic transformation and modernization process. Over the 100 days of uh, President Marcos' administration, the new administration has prioritized economic growth and livelihood improvement. It resonates with the development methods of Chinese modernization. Looking ahead, great potential is to be tapped for, uh, is to be uh, exploited for China-Philippine uh, cooperation. China is ready to work with the Philippines to fulfill consensus among our leaders, strengthen our ties as close neighbors, good friends, relatives, and friendly partners. Further, our cooperation in agriculture, infrastructure, energy, and people-to-people -people exchanges, so as to bring more tangible benefits to our two peoples. To conclude, I wish that both sides would join hands to secure on time and high quality completion of this project. And the project will be, as we believe, a new passage uh, uh, to a better livelihood of the local people, a new landmark of the region of Davao, and a new milestone of the China-Philippines friendship. Thank you, Amabo Hai. Thank you very much, Ambassador Silvian. Now, may we call on Vice President and the concurrent Deputy Secretary, Sara Z. Duterte, to introduce our guest of honor. May I request everyone to please stand? <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome with a round of applause the President of the Republic of the Philippines, Ferdinand Romaldos Marcos, Jr. Thank you very much uh, to our Vice President, Vice President Sala Duterte. Alam ko pinatayo kayong lahat, but I think it's okay to sit down now. The, His Excellency, our good friend, the Ambassador of the People's Republic of China to the Philippines, His Excellency Wang Xilian, to whom we must extend our congratulations for the successful conduct of the Communist Party Conference uh, just concluded. And uh, we look forward to uh, building upon the directions that your president, that President Xi Jinping has given to the People's Republic of China in partnership with the Philippines. We look forward to continuing to strengthen and to bring closer our two countries. Public Works and Highways uh, Secretary Mani Bunuan, the other members of the cabinet, your excellencies, Davao City Mayor Baste Duterte, the uh, City of Samal Mayor Al David Uy, our, my fellow workers in government, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. I congratulate of course, the Department of Public Works and Highways, its development partners, and all the people of the Dabao region, including the LGUs involved, as we gather here today for the groundbreaking ceremony of the Samal Island Dabao City Connector Project. Once completed, this bridge will help us develop the economic potential of Dabao City and the island garden of, of the city of Samal, as well as enhance its residents' access to employment, education, and other services. It is uh, for us to express also our gratitude to the government of the People's Republic of China, as they were an active member and have always been a dependable partner in this infrastructure development program. This is not the only project that uh, we have depended upon, the concessional loans and uh, even uh, grants from uh, the government of the People's Republic of China 
and you can, we, it, is clearly, it is clear to see the benefits that those projects bring to our people, to our economy, and to the Philippines. It is a testament, this, this is a testament to the strong and ever-growing foundation of the bilateral relations and cooperation between our two countries. It is always a pleasure as a nation to join hands with you for the eventual success of this endeavor. Through your assistance and the efforts of the Depart Department of Public Works and Highways, this bridge will soon accommodate up to 25,000 vehicles daily and reduce travel time between Samal and Davao from 50 minutes to just four and a half. In 2027, this bridge will surely ease the convenience of travel and transport, bringing forth gainful opportunities for many of our people by providing a link between relatively far-flung far areas and economic centers. Thereby, we ensure smoother mobility of people and of goods. It will provide easier access to tourism spots and ensure the speedy recuperation from the setbacks brought about by the pandemic. I also believe that through this project, we will further improve peace and the peace and order situation in the area, as well as ensure the faster and more efficient aid distribution during times of calamities. As the government's engineering and construction arm I must underscore the important role of the Department of Public Works and Highways, not only ensuring the completion of this project, but also in the broader task of nation building. It is therefore, it is therefore my co always constant instruction to your agency to remain steadfast in building a more interconnected Philippines. Through the continued construction of short and long-span bridges across the country. We can boost regional transport and spur economic development and competitiveness in the countryside. At this juncture, I, am, uh, I would also like to explain that this is, I am only the fortunate uh, to, have been, uh, to have been sitting as president when we broke ground for this very important project. This project actually was formally begun by then Secretary Mark Villar under the Duterte, the Duterte administration. And it began uh, the formally to put together the project since 2018. So the previous administration has al had already been working on uh, this uh, project for four years before we arrived to this day. However, I am looking forward to also once again being the lucky one to open the bridge when it is finished. We credit this project to all the people, though, both past and present, who have worked very hard to realize this grand infrastructure, for it is through the efforts of very many people working very, very hard and their compounded efforts that we will soon harvest fruits that will benefit all. Ladies and gentlemen, as your leader whose mandate is predicated upon the message of hope and of unity, let me underscore the significant message that is also encapsulated in this occasion. Let this bridge affirm this administration's commitment and resolve to become a sturdy and purposeful link that bridges gaps between physical and geographical barriers, but also the various social structures that need to be connected and fortified as one. Regardless of our individual strengths or merits, we will achieve nothing if we continue to permit divisions that halt us from connecting with each other. Let us continue the great work of coming together and let the changing power that will result from our energy give rise to the realization of our dreams of a strong, prosperous and truly united Filipino nation. To that day, we can all look forward to. Maraming salamat at mabuhay po kayong lahat. Magandang umaga po sa inyo. Thank you, Mr. President.
At this point, may we request the President to kindly grant us a photo opportunity in four batches. For our batch number one, may we call on stage the